In the heart of Latin America, a creature lurks in the shadows, causing fear and intrigue in equal measure. This is the chupacabra, the notorious goat sucker. The chupacabra, whose name literally translates to goat sucker, is a creature of legend and myth. It's been depicted with a variety of physical characteristics. Some claim it has leathery or scaly greenish-gray skin, others describe it as a strange breed of wild dog. It's often portrayed with a row of spines reaching from the neck to the base of the tail, with piercing red eyes that could freeze the blood of any who dare cross its path. This enigmatic creature is said to roam the night, hunting livestock, especially goats. It doesn't just kill its victims, it allegedly drains them of their blood, hence the name Chupacabra. Over the years the Chupacabra has become a source of fear for many, but it's also become a symbol of intrigue and mystery. It's a creature that transcends the boundary between reality and imagination, leaving a trail of unanswered questions in its wake. The Chupacabra's notoriety isn't confined to the rural landscapes of Latin America. It has infiltrated popular culture worldwide featuring in movies, books, and video games. It's become an icon, a symbol of the unknown and the unexplained. And despite the fear it instills, it's also become a source of fascination. The Chupacabra's rise to fame is a testament to our collective fascination with the unknown. It reflects our innate desire to explore, to investigate, and to understand the world around us. It's a creature that, despite its fearsome reputation, continues to captivate our imagination and curiosity. But where does this creature come from? Theories abound, and today, we explore them. From the idea that the chupacabra is a mutated wild dog, to the belief that it's an extraterrestrial being, the mysteries surrounding the chupacabra's origins are as intriguing as the creature itself. So, let's dive into the enigma that is the chupacabra, and see if we can unravel some of its mystique. First we delve into the theory that the chupacabra is in fact a mutated wild dog. This theory like many others surrounding the creature's origin is shrouded in mystery and skepticism, but for those who subscribe to it, the idea of the chupacabra as a mutated canine is a plausible one. The mutated wild dog theory emerged from observations of the creature's physical characteristics. Witnesses often describe the chupacabra as being dog-like in appearance, with a pronounced spinal ridge, leathery or scaly greenish-gray skin, and sharp spines or quills running down its back. Its alleged behaviors such as nocturnal activity, predation of small animals, and its supposed preference for blood, are also traits often associated with wild canines. Supporters of this theory argue that the chupacabra is a new species or subspecies of wild dog, possibly resulting from a genetic mutation or a hybridization event between different canine species. This could explain the creature's unusual characteristics and behaviors. They point to several cases where supposedly captured or killed chupacabras turned out to be canines with mange, a skin disease that can drastically alter an animal's appearance. But this theory is not without its skeptics. Critics argue that the physical descriptions of the chupacabra are too varied and inconsistent to point to a single species, let alone a canine one. They also question the creature's alleged blood-sucking habits, as no dog species are known to exhibit this behavior. And of course there's the question of why such a creature would be confined to Latin America, when dogs are found all over the world. Could a mere mutation lead to such a fearsome creature or is there more to the story? As we peel back the layers of the chupacabra mystery, we find that each theory leads to more questions than answers, a testament to the enigma that this creature continues to be. From earthly explanations we now turn our gaze to the stars. Some believe the chupacabra has extraterrestrial origins. The extraterrestrial theory regarding the chupacabra emerged in the mid-90s, around the same time when the first sightings of the creature were reported. This theory suggests that the chupacabra is not of this world, but rather a visitor, or perhaps even a stranded alien from a far-off galaxy. Supporters of this theory point to the creature's unusual characteristics which are unlike any known animal species on Earth. They refer to its reported ability to drain all of a victim's blood without leaving much of a trace as evidence of advanced otherworldly biology or technology. Much like the mythical vampire, the chupacabra's method of exsanguination is eerily precise and efficient, leading some to believe it's the handiwork of an intelligent extraterrestrial being. The theory also draws on the rich tapestry of UFO sightings and alien abduction stories that have permeated Latin American folklore for decades. Some eyewitnesses have even claimed to see the chupacabra in the vicinity of strange lights and unexplained phenomena, adding fuel to the extraterrestrial fire. 
However, as intriguing as this theory is, it's not without its skeptics. Critics argue that the evidence supporting the extraterrestrial theory is largely anecdotal and lacks empirical backing. They point out that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and until such evidence is presented, the extraterrestrial theory remains firmly in the realm of speculation. Furthermore, skeptics suggest that the chupacabra's alien-like features could be explained by earthly phenomena such as genetic mutation or disease. They argue that the creature's blood-draining behavior could simply be the result of instinct or adaptation, rather than an indication of alien origin. So where does that leave us? Is the chupacabra an alien visitor, a misunderstood mutant, or perhaps something else entirely? Is the chupacabra a visitor from another world, or is this just a fantastical explanation for a terrestrial creature? Beyond wild dogs and extraterrestrials, other theories suggest the chupacabra's origins are even more fantastical. Diving deeper into the rabbit hole, we find some who believe the chupacabra is a creature of mythology, sprung from the pages of ancient folklore. Some point to the similarities between the chupacabra and creatures from various indigenous mythologies. The resemblance of the chupacabra to the Nahual, a creature from Mexican folklore that could transform into an animal to cause harm, is one such example. However, the lack of historical references to a creature like the chupacabra in pre-colonial times casts a shadow of doubt over this theory. Then there are those who propose that the chupacabra is the result of secret government experiments. They contend that the creature is a genetically engineered being, designed for unknown purposes, perhaps a bioweapon, or a test subject for genetic modification. The proximity of many chupacabra sightings to areas known for scientific research, such as Puerto Rico's El Yunque National Forest, adds a layer of intrigue to this theory. But like all good conspiracy theories, concrete evidence is elusive. Finally, we can't overlook the possibility that the chupacabra is simply a hoax. With the rise of the internet it's easier than ever for stories to spread and myths to be born. Many reported sightings have been debunked as misidentified animals or outright fabrications. Some argue that the chupacabra is a creation of the modern age, a creature born not of mutation or mythology, but of our collective fascination with the unknown. Whatever the truth may be, the diversity of these theories underscores the enduring allure of the chupacabra. Whether it's a mythical beast, a government experiment, or a modern-day fabrication, it's clear that the chupacabra has secured its place in our collective imagination. With such a wide range of theories, the chupacabra's origins remain a captivating mystery. From mutated dogs to extraterrestrial beings and government experiments, the chupacabra's origin is as elusive as the creature itself. Indeed, our journey today has taken us through the winding paths of speculation, theory, and myth surrounding this enigmatic creature. We explored the theory that the chupacabra could be a mutated wild dog. This idea, grounded in biological possibility, suggests that the creature's strange features and behavior could be the result of genetic mutation or disease. Yet, as compelling as this theory might be, it fails to fully account for all the peculiarities associated with the chupacabra leaving room for doubt and further questioning. Next, we delved into the extraterrestrial theory, a concept that catapults the chupacabra into the realm of science fiction. Here, the creature is posited as an alien being, possibly left behind on Earth or escaped from an otherworldly vessel. While this theory certainly adds a tantalizing twist to the chupacabra saga, it too falls short of providing a comprehensive explanation, further fueling the mystery. We also touched on other theories, such as secret government experiments and undiscovered species, each offering its own unique perspective on the chupacabra enigma. Yet, despite these myriad explanations, a definitive answer to the chupacabra mystery remains elusive. What becomes clear in this exploration is not a single irrefutable truth, but rather the intriguing lack of consensus surrounding the chupacabra. This ongoing debate invites us all to engage, to form our own opinions, and to continue probing the mystery. So as we wrap up today's journey into the enigma of the chupacabra, remember that it is this very mystery that makes the story so captivating. The chupacabra captivates us with its mystery, reminding us that the world is full of wonders waiting to be explored. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and always stay curious.